Exploring idioms, as happy as a lark. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a delightful idiom that paints a vivid picture of joy and happiness. As happy as a lark. Stay with us as we uncover the meaning behind this expression, its origins, and how you can use it in your everyday conversations. Whether you're learning English as a second language or just love exploring idioms, this video is for you. The phrase, as happy as a lark, is used to describe someone who is extremely happy or content. Imagine the highest level of happiness you could feel. That's what this idiom is all about. Larks, the birds mentioned in the idiom, are known for their melodious and joyful singing, especially during the early morning. So, when someone says they're as happy as a lark, they're comparing their own feelings of joy to the seemingly cheerful nature of the lark. Understanding where an idiom comes from can often help us appreciate its meaning even more. The phrase, as happy as a lark, has been in use since the 16th century. It's believed that the idiom draws its imagery from the cheerful singing of the lark, which is often most vibrant and lively at the start of the day. This comparison between the bird's happiness and human joy suggests a natural, effortless state of happiness, much like the lark's early morning songs. Incorporating idioms like, as happy as a lark, into your language can make your conversations more colorful and expressive. Here are a few examples of how to use this idiom. After receiving the news of her promotion, Maria was as happy as a lark. Seeing his new puppy for the first time, the little boy was as happy as a lark. I haven't felt as happy as a lark in years, but today has been an exceptionally good day. Remember, idioms are best used in more informal settings, such as conversations with friends or in personal writing. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the idiom, as happy as a lark, and feel inspired to use it in your own conversations. Idioms like this one add depth and color to our language, allowing us to express our feelings in creative and vivid ways. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be using idioms with the ease of a native speaker. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Stay curious, and keep exploring the beauty of the English language.